The smell of my air freshener's gone. Where's the money? Right, in bed. Well, ladies and gents, we're heading out. Here's my key. Let's hope she starts. Oh, bit slow to start, I won't lie. She's an old bird. Come on, Alison. Let's go for a spin. Brum, brum. Hello. Something just doesn't quite feel right. I think, I think she needs a bit of a, a bit of a run, you know, a bit of a refresh. So we're going to keep going. Oh, it's been window wipers. That wasn't a fart, I promise. <laughs> Oh my god, there's another car. There's another car. Hello, friend. Hello, human. Other human. There's another human there. And another one. Hey. Hiya. <laughs> What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. I, today, I'm actually posting a letter, but instead of walking around the block, I'm um, uh, driving around the block because Alison needs a drive and I needed to get out of the house. I have not left my block. Um, at my street because there's a post box on my kind of vlog for over six weeks <laughs> and so I was going freaking crazy Alison had just had an MOT she actually was as healthy as can be especially for an old bird right but Today we're taking her for a spin. I'm uh, I'm just happy to be out, to be honest. I was only gonna come around the block, but now I've started driving and stuff, and I, I'm just like, nah. Oh no, you've zoomed in. So from sending a package in the mail to receiving one, here we have something which is, uh, I would say it's fair to say is long waited on the channel because you guys have been nagging at me to get these for ages. Knee sleeves, elbow sleeves, straps, all that kind of stuff for as and when is necessary. Right, I'm gonna put these away and uh, go and wash my hands. I am actually getting changed right now because it's freezing here in the garage um, and so, I'm only going to be in here for like 20 minutes. I'm just doing a bit of cardio because I kind of want to. Um, I'm going to train a little bit later, so I'm not going to look any, like hard or anything. I've not done any cardio since the Thor thing. This is the aftermath and my legs are kind of still aching. I actually took a day off yesterday. So we'll see how, uh, how this goes. I think we'll be fine, but it's just like my adductors and my frigging abductors. I think it was all the kettlebell swings or, or just the sheer volume of deadlifts that that killed me. Or it could be the sprints. Or it could be actually the entire session. It was really hard. I hope you enjoyed the video. I think it was a good video though. No? Maybe? I don't know. TV is going on. Let's do a good old American Monster. Protein Picker Mix's finest. YouTube, Instagram, American Monster finest. Oh! Oh! Yes! Thought I was gonna mess that up then. Right, drop a like if you have seen this in YouTube or Instagram, because you know, help a brother out and all that. Have you liked it yet? Oh, that's bloody good, isn't it? I've not had one for ages, because this is the last one. I've been saving it for when I really, really fancy it. So poor old Jessie Pop actually has a bit of a poorly paw, bless her. Just running around in the garden, I think she's bent a claw back somehow, but uh, we've got to leave her to to rest for a couple of days. No real kind of intense walks, because she's a very, I don't know if you've noticed, she's a very active dog, and she was actually quite lethargic and sleepy there when she would normally be buzzing over the top. She actually has epilepsy, and so she is especially kind of wappy, you know? So, in a minute, I'm gonna train 
It is an upper body day, so I'm going to be doing a bit of everything, what I can after the whole Thor thing. And after that, I'll be going to post some teas. This is actually all we have left, a couple of charcoal, a couple black, and the one khaki. Um, and we've got a couple of smalls somewhere as well, but that is literally it. So thank you so much for your support, they've only been live for a couple of weeks, and so... Yeah, it's, it's just nice, you know, thank you, I appreciate you. I'm going to take some pre now. I think I might go for some lemon sherbet today. I'm on a real sherbet hype lately. I was going to say something else. Now that phone's distracting me even more. Oh, see, my fa my family always ask why I don't see text messages. That is three messages in the last one minute that I have started filming this clip. It is impossible to keep track. I dread to think what, like, Christians and Robs and Matt does fitness and everyone, what their phones are like. It'd be freaking ridiculous. That's four. That's now four. Wow, you, you get the point. <laughs> So, you may or may not agree, um, or disagree, I suppose it doesn't really matter, um, with what I'm about to say. Um, but I feel like this kind of, this, this whole situation right now has really shown me what it's like, or could potentially kind of be like, to do this full time, to create videos for a living, right? To do kind of social media and your own businesses and all this kind of stuff full time. Um, obviously myself and the old man can't work right now so the only income I do have is from social media like the t-shirts and the plans and you know working with my protein and all this kind of stuff um, and so it has kind of shown me what it would be like if I was doing that full time I've just not had the full time kind of paycheck if you know what I'm saying obviously if it was a reality and when it's a reality I should say myself and Charlotte will have our own place and we'll be doing our own thing and all that kind of stuff rather than being forced apart um, but you get the principle, you know, the principle kind of applies of waking up every day with the challenge of making a video, having an idea in my head, all the while kind of playing that idea out in my head throughout the day, editing the video throughout the day, whilst doing kind of different businessy things, you know, sending off t-shirts, working on brand deals and all this kind of stuff. Negotiations, that, that happens. People don't talk about it because people don't like to talk about money, but that happens, right? Social media, and just like anything else in business, requires negotiations at times. And I've been doing that. So it's kind of shown me what it would be like. And I like it, <laughs> I like it a lot, okay? I like the feeling of, of progressing um, on my own, with my own thing, rather than being told what to do. I, I friggin' hate. I hate with a passion the norm. I hate the fact that you go to university, you go to school, you get told to go to university, and then you're told to get this job, and then you work, and then you die. I, I freaking, I hate it. I hate, I hate the norm so much. I, I and anyone that knows me knows um, just how much I do hate the, uh, the societal norms at times, shall we say. But, I think I can take from this experience um, that I can kind of do this, you know? Um, added in the, the happiness that would come from other aspects of my life when it is a reality. Um, my, my God, I can do this big time. I will do more so than what I'm doing right now. Just, yeah, just that's, that's all I can say really. I just enjoy it a lot. It's literally my favorite thing to do. I, I know some people play, video games, some people will come home from work and play on FIFA to relax, some people will read a book. Um, I edit. I, I enjoy editing, the process of editing. You don't make 500 odd videos with as little return as what I've had if you don't enjoy making videos. And that 
is what I feel will make it work in the long term. I actually enjoy doing it. I mean, I suppose I have a bit of a paycheck, don't I? <laughs> but to be honest, right now, I feel like I'm just in a position where I just need a couple of people, a couple of companies to to trust me, you know, to trust what I what I believe in, what I put out there, and to just genuinely just trust in me. And that's that, really. But it's easy for people to say that they love it and all of this, but nah, this is this is what this is what I want to do. This is what I love to do, and this is what I will do. And I will do whatever it, whatever it is that I need to do in the meantime until that day comes. When it does come, we're gonna level it up again. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm just gonna roll the old clip. And that's that. I got asked um, in a Instagram DM today why I make so many videos, you know, when I, I'm not working for these companies and basically basically why I'm not at the top of the industry but still making all of these videos, right? My answer was kind of, well, I suppose it was a bit blunt in a way, but I was kind of like, well, how do you think that they got there? You know, Rob Lipsit back in the day used to film five videos in a day and then spread them out over the course of like two to three weeks or whatever, but then he would smash videos in one day because he knew that he wanted to get there and that he could get to the top and maintain his position at the top like he has done for like five odd so years now how long has it been i followed rob since before 1k so i know him in and out you know it's like we're best friends me and rob lips it with the same me and him kind of we're both small that's about it i record so many videos personally because i actually this is going to sound stupid to, to some people but i really 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 enjoy making videos i love having a constant friggin' project to work on, a constant task, a constant deadline that's gonna keep me on track with, with my fitness goals, with my social media business kind of goals. You know, if I have that Wednesday, Sunday schedule to stick to, you bet your ass I'm gonna stick to it. I've stuck to it for like four friggin' years. That's why I make videos. It holds me accountable. Well, actually, I started making videos because I was obsessed with making freaking memories for myself and looking back on those videos and stuff. And then I just kind of fell in love with the whole process and realised that I could make something of it, you know? But anyway, it's almost like I have this feeling of... I, w I wouldn't say anxiety, like... I suppose it is kind of like an anxiety. If I go into the home gym downstairs where I can have everything completely under my control, I can put non-copyright music on in the background, I can, you know, I, I can train morning and night, I can train in the middle of the night, I can train friggin' naked if I wanted to. It's our place, you know, where I can go and kind of do whatever I need to do for this. I feel like if I'm training down there where everything is in my control, to the point where I could train in silence again if I wanted to, and I don't film that, I feel like there's going to be someone out there that wants the same things as me, that wants to achieve the same goals kind of social media wise as me, that will be recording their session, if that makes sense, and putting it online or, you know, writing a, a, a caption that's going to hopefully help someone or, you know, I feel like there's someone out there constantly. And there will be someone out there, there's always going to be someone younger, someone hungrier, someone with a better work ethic, someone out there that is better than you. There's someone out there that's faster than Usain Bolt that's just not had their talent discovered. I, I say that all the time, all the friggin' time. I'm like, Usain Bolt is not the fastest man on the planet because there is someone out there that either hasn't had access to the training, access to the friggin' uh, resources or whatever, but there is someone that hasn't necessarily had the same opportunities as Usain Bolt that is faster than him, he's just not been discovered, you know? Apply the kind of same philosophy in terms of your work ethic to this. If you have everything under your control, like I can pump out the videos fast. There's no real trouble for me to do that. Uh, well, I suppose there is, but like, it, you know, you get my point. There's gonna be someone out there that's gonna be willing to work harder. And so every time I'm not doing this, I think, right, fr well, friggin' hell, I'm not even there yet. You know, I'm not even Usain Bolt, I'm some, 
Carl is track star, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not there, like, I'm not even there, so I've got to work even harder to even get there and then stay there and maintain it. It's hard, it's a weird kind of... mindset, if you like. I feel like if I don't do this, then um, someone else will be. And so you don't want someone else to achieve your goals for you. So be that person that the hardest worker in the room or like all those cliche kind of sayings, you need to do that. You need to be those people. You need to, to well, to do that, to work hard for it. Nothing in life worth having comes easy. Like, well, unless you are the one in a million that goes viral with one friggin' video and then that's it, that's your career made because you're a 12 out of 10 good looking guy and you are friggin' shredded to the bone 24 seven. All of these kinds of things, like yeah, I'm none of those. And so I have to, I have to level myself up to even compete sort of thing. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much it. This video, uh, this video, this uh, message that I got just kind of sparked this interest in me. I wrote an Instagram caption on it as well, so you guys probably would have seen that by the time that this video goes live. Having said that though, being busy doesn't always necessarily mean you're being productive. And so... You need to be taking those extra five minutes if you're still working, you know, you have five minutes on your lunch break. Take those five minutes and think, how can you do something that's going to promote you in the future, that's going to help you in the future, that is going to benefit you long term. Take those five minutes every single time you can, every single day, for a prolonged period of time, and that will add up. No expert, but that's what I'm trying to do. So I have no idea what I'm actually going to call this video, to be honest, guys. Um, I wanted to finish it off though, sat in the same position and re-emphasizing the same kind of message as what I I, I said back in um, back in March, I think it was. But uh, before I do, getting that old my protein hand cleansing gel in there because you know, been in public and all that. Oh, I've got a cut on my hand. Ah, man, man, flipping heck. Grit your teeth, Liam. Grit your teeth. Ah, dry it off. You know when, like, Charlotte does her nails and she just goes, no, I'm trying to dry them. I'm trying to dry them faster. I understand now. I honestly don't even know what I'm going to call this video. Um, probably something along the lines of home gym real talk or, like, some, just something like that. I've been putting home gym in my titles of the videos for years like four years and now and only now is it a topic that people are searching for so if i just put just bear with me with with the titles you know just enjoy the context and enjoy the vlog and just take it for what it is because the chances are home gym will appear in the title a lot lately because momentum right that will build it i'm not even kidding you having that in the title or just doing what we're doing essentially right now will build it and if you have not already on that note please drop the video a like it costs you nothing it takes two seconds subscribe if you're new comment anything down below anything at all and it will really really help so i hope you have enjoyed today's video guys and um i hope you take something from it so stay tuned for plenty plenty more to come it is Thursday night tonight, so I hope to see all of your Instagram stories tonight for the clap for carers, NHS, key workers, all of that. Just, just get outside, spread the love, you know, go and clap. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, we will come out of this sooner rather than later. So, thank you so much for your support. In the meantime, I will keep you all amused with as many videos as I possibly can. The next one will be live on Sunday because we've gone from Sunday through to Thursday today. I'm gonna have my weekend Friday and Saturday off and then we'll, we'll get back on it again on Sunday. But the principles all apply. Everything that I've said in this video, I will be working on those days, just not uploading, okay? So thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you all, every single one of you. I hope you are safe, I hope you are well and I hope you enjoyed the video. Together, we will grow. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all on Sunday for the next one. Yep.